Monsters! What are you doing? Oh, yes. So if you're just joining us now, which you should be because we're just getting started, Jessica has an issue with her hand. Go ahead and show the rest of the hand. The rest of the hand? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How, look, look at this. This is, this happened when was it was last night. Yeah. It's just, it's so bizarre looking. Do you want to see the other one? <laughs> She's missing a thing. It's like I'm missing a whole finger. It, it was so painful. It was like one of the most painful mm. things went because it was like secured and yeah, it was extremely painful. It still hurts actually. I've technically this got ripped off two days ago and I cleaned it and I've sanded it down, you know, so the nail's healthy. And I still can barely touch it because it hurts so much. She's complaining about it nonstop. I'm talking like there's a cat. That, that meows in the alleyway like five blocks away. I can't tell the difference. We don't have uh, any eyes. Hi, South Wales. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Loading dot dot dot, dot from Australia. Dot, dot. Ryan Ra Hi, Australia. Raventhal. Sean. Corn Freak. Sarah Davies. Rosie. Angie. Uh, Johnny. Vega. Justin. Lily Gardner. Christina. Oh. Perez. Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, Dan C, Ravencroft, Jamaica Pitts, Elvis Stooges, Donald Turpin. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I will say have... this. We're so happy that you guys are here. Hi, guys. And Hi. as everybody starts coming in, Hello. we're going to get this party oh, started Holland. just a little bit. So just bear with us. Honk and honk, honk. You know, we've been doing this for such a long time. For the longest time, we were doing every week. Now we kind of do, we try to get it every week, but we travel a lot more than we did in the very beginning. So we try to fit this in. But we've been doing these watch parties for a heckins of a long time. It's been two and a half years now, I want to say. It's going to be three years this December. Yeah, so we started, <sighs> our first one ever was around the holidays, because we know that they're really hard for people, and we wanted to have, like, this kind of safe space to create, like, a community family feeling where people could go and hang out. And there's been people that have been here almost from the very beginning. Hi, Trina. I'm recognizing I'm names. Oh, thank Sarah. You, Sarah. Thank, thank you, Sarah Davies. Heart. Tonight is a very, very special night. We have a lot of ground to cover, a lot of news, and we have an amazing movie that we're going to be talking about. I'm going to introduce it in just a little bit. You guys know what it is. You're already here. But I have some things to say about it and some things not to say about it, if that makes sense. First and foremost, can Thank we be friends in real life? Halloween 24 oh. It all depends. Halloween is every day of the year. So if you're Halloween 24-7, of course we're friends in real life. Hong Kong. It's true. I'm a cookie thief. Yeah, she did. And I These are the cookies. Them. She she took them from me. They're from from 7-Eleven. We stopped on the way home. We were okay. I, I was starting some stuff. Ready? It is Friday night. Welcome to another episode of Grim uh, All night. night. Basically, if you were old enough to remember USA Up All Night, hosted by Rhonda Shear. And or Gilbert Godfrey. Who Rest in peace. Past. Yes, we love him. We're so sad to hear the news and we dedicate this to you. Yes, this is, we've been doing these things for about two years and we've always mentioned his name. We always bring him up in some Happy way, shape or form. Stella. And he is, yeah, has been amazing. We've reached out to him once a long time ago. Oh, that's right. Right? Yeah. For a Halloween special, and it never happened, but oh. we got an email direct from him. It was kind of cool, yeah. but uh, he was straight to the point. Which I mean, a lot of actors, you know, they do what they do for the love of the the craft, but also they need to make sure they can pay their bills. Yeah. So he was like, "What to pay?" And we're like, "Oh gosh, not well, much." <laughs> We couldn't really afford much at the time, and we were kind of we bounced back and forth a few times. We couldn't afford him, but it was so yeah. awesome that he even responded. You know that was that made it worth it for us. Just that he took the time. It was He's so one of those people that you know his voice, you know his face, and you know his comedy. Yeah. And uh, ah, David, this Glad grim up all night. Tonight. Hi, honey. 
Thank you, David. This grim up all night that we do is is 100% because of him and the yeah. folks over at USA back in the 80s, oh, early you. 90s, and Rhonda Shear and all that jazz. So this uh, this more than anything tonight is for mm-hmm. him. So he's an OG. He's one peace, of the man. original people, you know, from our childhood. Yep. Hola, Michael. Now, Tess for Echoes. Hey, honey, Tess how are you? For Echo. Peace, love, and happiness, peeps. Thank you, sweetheart. Tonight's movie is a little movie called Happy Belated Lily. Stir of Echoes, starring Kevin Bacon and a whole bunch of other people, but basically we're all here for Kevin Bacon because it's Bacon. This is one of your Stephen LaRose holiday shirts. It is not. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh no, that's right. This is from, uh, oh, I know this name. Oh, I know this name. Um, well, no, I don't. No, it's, what's it say back there? It says Monster Tees. Monster Tees. Monster Tees. We got it from Nightmare Toys in Las Vegas. So back to the movie. Tonight's movie yeah. is Stir of Echoes. I'm going to type it for you guys. I feel really bad playing this movie tonight. Because Why? I love this movie. The movie Stir of Echoes starring Kevin Bacon is a wonderful ghost story. Fat NES ah, yes. guy. Hey, hey, love you guys. Again, I'm going to see Harold Ramis in Chicago in August and May. Can't wait. Lost Boys video was the best. Fat Chris. Thank, Thank you, Chris. man. Thank you, sweetheart. Enjoy your travels. Be safe in Chicago. Be aware of your surroundings. Yes. But have fun. Yes. Um, so Kevin Bacon. He's not my favorite actor, but I really enjoy everything that he's been in. More importantly, more than anything, this movie, Stir of Echoes. It's a ghost story. It's a true, it's like, not true crime. It's a crime story. It's suspense. It's got a little bit of everything, and it's done so well in the pacing and the atmosphere of this movie. I kind of don't want to do this. I want to just watch the movie. I'm well, sorry. Well, you can't because it's I not I have to time. talk to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, like, this is one of those movies that... I feel that I know it, but when he started talking to me about it, I can't remember many details. So I feel like I'm going to be rewatching it at least for the first time in a very long time. So it's like watching it for the first time. So I'm I'm completely vague on the details, and I bet once I start watching, I'm be like, oh yeah, I remember this. But we have something special for tonight. We do. So of course we have some snacks. Go ahead and show them. We got yeah. cookies. The whole bag. Of- <laughs> we got. Um, red vines, we got donuts, but we Here's have something oh, here that is specific to this movie alone. Paul Hassenauer. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, it was cool seeing you open Sean Clark and Chris Nelson's uh, podcast earlier. Also, the Ed Gein video was tremendous. Love you guys. We're going to talk about that podcast in just a moment. Ryan Rackland channel. Hey, guys, love you so much. Ed Gein video rocks. Thank you, Thank Ryan. you, thank you. Um, so we got all these goodies. But we also have something that is in direct relation to the movie. And, and this that is, is why I don't remember. Orange juice. I don't remember this at all. On the way home from doing a, a little appearance, we, we stopped by Sean Clark's house to say hi and <laughs> pick up a Party pen. Quinn. And we, 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 we did a little spot on this podcast. We're going to talk about it. But we stopped and picked up some orange juice because throughout this entire movie, Kevin Bacon is drinking orange juice. Now, there's a whole bunch of theories as to why. So here's my thing. Really quickly, Hardy Quinn, I'm too tired to stay up, LOL, but I wanted to show my support. I love your videos, and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you so much, Holly Quinn. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you, hi. thank you. Tim C., I'm here to hang with Brim Life and lunch on kettle, ooh, kettle, kettle corn. corn. Yeah, dude. Give some to me, please. My goal Thanks is right. every time that Kevin Bacon drinks orange juice, I'm going to be drinking this. So it's a small one, but it's going to last me all movie. It's not going to last you the whole movie. I'm going to sip it. I'm going to sip it. George. George Hill S. Sitting, the game, the game, game. Gain video was awesome and horrific. I, I well, thank you. So. i over my tongue today. Um, thank you. Thank you. This trip that we did for Transworld and everything surrounding it, SSH77, always enjoy your video. Seems like you're constantly working. We are. Yes. Constantly. But here's yes. the thing. It's not really work. We enjoy it. We have so much fun. We get to be it together is. and we get to travel and see everything. Yeah, it's so still work. Though. It's still work, but it's it's a fun kind of work. Hi, Australia. This past month Thank you, SS. of our travels mainly has been devoted to true crime and things happening. Real life horror. Um, we have another trip coming up where we're going to be doing a lot of filming locations and a lot of TV related Hi. stuff. So be on the lookout for that. So we have 
two more videos from our trip to yeah. St. Louis and back. Good the, ones too. Probably not. So they're, they're the next two ones, the next two videos are pretty big. And there's a lot of editing that's going into them. So bear with me. It won't be up tomorrow, but it'll probably be up, I'm guessing, Sunday. I see a lot of people saying hello from around L.A. Hi, locals. Hello, L.A. Hi. We, okay. So if, if you are in L.A. and you mm -hmm. see us around town, please don't hesitate to stop and say hi. It has been happening a lot at gas stations, just standing out front of restaurants. If you see us and you're a fans of the show, please say hello. Also, oh, that's so cute, Jennifer. If you're fans of the show, please share the channel and your favorite video with a family member, especially your grandma. What Jennifer happened? Weather said, "My son is at Disney World with his his school band. Is he one of the kids that plays in in Magic Kingdom in the band? That is so cool. Or is he just like <clears throat> there with his group enjoying Disneyland D World? Disney World. Where's that pen?" <coughs> the green yeah. pen. Green pen? Well, that we picked up today. Over there. Okay. So, in the middle of rush hour traffic today, I'm talking mm -hmm. like rush hour LA traffic, we drove two hours one way to pick up mm -hmm. a paint pen. Yep. A neon green paint pen yep. because tomorrow we're going to be meeting up with the cast of the Adams family. We're going to have them sign a Mondo poster that we have. Steve, thank love you, the Steve. daughter and Gene. Have a great night. Thank you, sweetheart. You thank too. you, Steve. So tomorrow we're going to be meeting up with the, some of the cast of the 1991 movie Adams Family. And we wanted this neon green paint pen. So we drove two hours to our buddy Sean Clark's house to pick it up. Mm -hmm. He got a new puppy. Um, him and his, his, his wife, I think they're married wife, fiance. They're married yeah, to they're me. Engaged. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're together. Been a long time, yeah. Um, they have a new puppy. His name is buddy and mm. cute. We got to play with the puppies and we got the pen. We're borrowing it. We're going to give it back. And we drove all the way back to LA. It was like a four hour trip. All four around. hour run trip just for a marker. And yeah. cause it's cool. Right. Yeah. Um, the things you do if you're on a mission, you got to do it. Cause it's going to look amazing. You'll see. And um, we were getting ready to leave. And Sean and Chris, Chris Nelson, they were doing, they're getting ready to do their podcast, the thing with the two heads. So they, they asked if we'd like to do a little little skit for them. And you could say that we were we hijacked temporarily it. kidnapped and forced onto a video where we had to pretend to be hijackers ourselves. So... I'm not going to tell you much about it. Sounds like a cool movie. But at the very beginning, the very start of their latest podcast. And some of you guys were there, I was seeing. Yeah. Some of you guys already mentioned it. Which is so cool. When you're done with this, or you can pull it up because we're not watching the movie yet on your other screen. Pull it up. Watch it. We're right at the very beginning. And, and we, we talk about a movie that Sean Clark actually made. We're, mm -hmm. we're kind of like making fun of it. I'm playful. I feel like but I... Uh, Please go there, show them some love, leave a comment saying that you're here from Grim Life Collective, and just watch their stuff. They have great conversations, well, and they're awesome. One big family, yeah. and they're really amazing people. Fish sticks or fish sticks, you never know. Fish sticks. <laughs> love you guys. You should move back to Central Florida. We're not going to be no, moving thank back, you. To but we are coming back. We're going to be making an announcement probably this week. About our return to Florida for probably about a week. I don't see We're gonna be filming in Florida. Now, see, I, I, we've already been. I've been talking for fifteen minutes. Ouch! I'm sorry. Okay, you all are here for a watch party. Tonight's movie is Stir of Echoes. Who here? Hold on. Jennifer Weathers. My son is a senior in high school and it's his band spring trip. They oh, go to get to go to Disney. Cool. I wish I was there. Cool. He's good. He's gonna have fun. Disney's awesome. All right. Who here? Hopefully he doesn't get too sunburned. Is this the very first Grim Up All Night watch party? Who here is a Grim Up All Night Virgin? You put your hand down. No. You've been here from the beginning. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who here is this the very first Grim Up on It watch party? 
some of you guys are new. Every, oh. Wait, Ashley. Oh, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. It's going to come up here. Ah. Hold on. Ashley, hello from oh. Tijuana. Baja California. We love you guys and the content. The little one isn't with us right now, but she loves you guys too. Come to Baja California. We will guide you. Oh, well, thank you, oh, thank Ashley you so and much, family. Ashley and thank family. you so much. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, catch that one. It went by real quick. Hello, you okay? Here's the thing. I'm sure you've attended or heard about people doing watch parties the past two years. We do ours a little bit differently. In order for a watch party to work with us tonight, you need two different screens. Your cell phone and a computer. A computer and a laptop. A tablet and a computer, a tablet and a TV, a phone and a TV. Either way, however you do it, you need to have two different devices to pull up two different windows of YouTube. The first one to watch the movie, which is free. It's always free. And the second one is to hear us rambling on and talking and answering your questions and just hanging out. You can choose to just watch the movie and ignore us. Or you can choose to hang out with us and ignore the movie. It's completely up to you. It's at your discretion. The movie is free. And the link to the movie is pinned to the top of the chat, which I think is below you, as well as in the description of the video that you're watching right now. Mogens Bach. Oh, hi, hi from, from Denmark. Denmark. Jinx, go ahead. 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. here. So early morning movie. You two are so weird, but in a good way. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Mogens Bach. Thank you, Denmark. And hello, Denmark. Good morning. So again, thank you. The link to, to the link to tonight's movie is in the top of the chat or in the description. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is where you're watching, or it's in the description of this video. Roxanne, hi guys. Love Star of Echoes. Happy Friday. Hope to see you in Orlando at Spooky Empire. Just watch Ed Gein video. You guys are the best. Your video. Love your videos. Thank you. Thank you. We love you too. We love you guys so much. Thank you. Mary, Mary B. B. Wisconsin born and raised. It was so cool to see you walking around places I'm very familiar with. Both Plainfield and Milwaukee. Both videos you did were amazing. As always, love you guys. We love you too. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Um, And now for the part of the show that I absolutely hate doing. I hate this. I hate talking about this. Our videos, just like our watch parties, are always free. You just watching the videos does more than you can ever imagine. You sharing the videos with friends, awesome. You leaving a comment, awesome. You just coming back or even being here tonight does more than you can ever know. If the Brian Raglan channel, I'm weird Hello. but in a bad way. Yay, right. Weird's you, a good way. If you want to help out the Grim Life Collective in any way, shape, or any way, shape, or form. You don't have to, but if you want to, there are ways you can do it. One of them being, you can see the people doing super chat. Thank you. Seriously, you can do PayPal. You can. Um, oh yeah, our store is closed for now. Yeah, for now, but it is going to be opening. I know we said this last week. Um, we have new things coming. We're getting everything uh, situated. Uh, stickers, new prints, there's posters, and there's new t-shirts coming. We have samples coming to us this week, and we're going to be putting in an order for all new t-shirts. They're going to look different. They're going to feel different. Wow. You're going to love them. So if you want to help out in any way, shape, or form, whether it's a donation or joining our Patreon or buying something from our store, it's going to be open this week, I promise you. Or you can order a video message. Pardon me. I got the burps. Call all of there. hold on, all of those things, all of those links, all of that information is in the description of every single one of our videos. So look for it. Go ahead. My sock fell off. <laughs> Sorry, I hate talking about. It. I hate talking about that. But it's a good question. Derek asked, um, which form of donating allows you to keep the most money? Um, we have gotten that question in the past. Yeah. A lot of places do have their own fees, and I think that PayPal um, allows you to keep the most. I think. Well, other places, some places can take a, a portion, but um, 
Who, Lisa? Me and the husband are a huge fan. We love you guys. Please tell us you're coming to Minnesota next. And D. Cena says, I love you too, but your wife is gorgeous. Give her a kiss for me. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I made fun. What the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you were going to do a cute... Like, and Minnesota thing. is going to be coming. We've been talking about that, actually. Uh, right now, we're back in L.A. Woohoo. Um, so, we've always been about transparency. We, we always talk about things. Yeah. Uh, whether you realize it or not, all the super chats, YouTube takes around 30% mm -hmm. of all earnings, right? So all the super chats, they, 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 they tend to, they're a company, they're a business. We, we don't work for them every year at the end of the year, we get a 1099 MISC, uh, the miscellaneous This Snapchat, just because you both are so dang awesome. Duh, You're thank awesome. you. Um, yeah, 30, it's right around 30%. It's, mm -hmm. it's nuts. 30%. So, yeah. PayPal. Is always the easiest, is always whatever, but it's always whatever is easy for you guys. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why we, we opened a store and we 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 get everything made. We hold it here in our apartment. Whenever you buy something, Jessica, she wraps it up, she it's seals me. it, she sticks it, she yeah. puts it in the post herself. Um, yeah, we have Zelle and we do Patreon. Um we have, I actually have all of the donation apps, but I just, I'm so used, most people have PayPal, so I don't think I've really activated the other ones, you know? So, like, we have Zelle, we have Cash App, I don't know what it is. So, Sharon asked, what do you spend it on? Um, and this is yes. the most we've ever <laughs> talked about this, and I'm, and, yeah. So, we do this full-time. 100% mm -hmm. full-time. We don't, Jessica and I, we do not have your... Our job is what we do. We travel a lot. We film um, videos like the Ed Gein, the um, Jeffrey Dahmer. We have a couple more videos from St. Louis. Uh, we're getting ready to head to Texas. All these different adventures to bring them to you. It goes 100% into, into this. So that's what it is. That's a really good question, y'all. I forgot I even had Cash App. I got it when like... I don't, I don't even know. If yes, I'm 24. Honestly. Will you all ever come to Charleston, South Carolina? We are actually planning that. We were there about a year and a half, about two years ago, and we did some filming there, but we are going to be going back very soon. Oh, 386. My wife, who Lisa and I are huge fans, check out Anoka, Minnesota, the Halloween capital of the world, supposedly. We, okay. I feel like. We've gotten a couple of different emails. We were told that we got a couple of different things about Anoka, Minnesota. Ah, so, okay. I got the one for Cash App. Someone was asking for my Cash App, so I'll give it to you. I'll type it so it's easier. When will we be in Texas? We are going to be in Texas for Texas Freightmare Weekend. So if you are in the Dallas area, we're going to be posting, at, we're going to be posting about this week as well. This uh, April 29th, May 1st, and May 2nd, we're going to be in at the Texas Freightmare Weekend Convention. We're not there as guests. We're going to be walking around filming, but we are going to be there. So in Dallas, come see us. What are uh -huh. It is going to be hot. You guys asking all the good questions because I never really thought about it before. I'm sure somewhere I had it originally like listed in our information. So. I'll put it, I have a um I have a linky thing in my Instagram. I'll put all of our um our donation tabs on there with the information. My phone's on like two percent. I really should be charging it. And um we'll keep you guys updated on that. I can't so, can't so Tani, right now, sorry. Tanya says just t-shirts, summer is coming. Would you consider women's tanks? Yes. We're looking into it. We're looking into it. Yeah. We we got a new supplier. Uh they're based out of Chicago, and we're gonna be ordering everything and having it shipped over Hi, here. And we have our traditional T-shirts, the the Halloween orange, the ha the monster green, and I think we're going to be doing the glow in the dark. We might have to retire that for right now, but we're trying to get it done. Yeah, we're still. And we have a new T-shirt design. You probably saw me wearing it. I talked I'm about so it. That's pretty. coming as well. But we are working on getting women's t uh, tank tops as well as some other things. It's a technical term, Asteria. The linky thing. The linky. The what's it? The yeah, that thing. So, <sighs> you got me. We, we do ship other. everywhere. We have a hard time shipping to Australia right now. So it's 
if, if, if an order comes to, from Australia, we're going to go ahead and refund it because we can't turn it off right now. And yes, I only eat oatmeal raisin you, cookies. Nilsa. Nilsa, yeah. Thank you. I don't know what the issue is, but um, shipping to Australia changed drastically in this last year. I, I handle all the shipping. Um, so I've been the one that's keeping an eye on everything. Um, we were getting all of our Australia packages returned and it turns out they're not receiving specific types of posts. Thank you, Ruben. We will, we'll come to Tucson soon. We promise. We have plans um, for Tucson, Ruben. Basically. So, so everything's based on ounces, right? I could ship something that's eight ounces to Australia before, which is a typical medium sized t-shirt and it gets heavier with the size going upwards. Um, and that used to cost anywhere between 24 and 27 American dollars to ship it. And <clears throat> since they stopped allowing that specific post, which is just the cheapest post to send to Australia, they're now only accepting what is considered to be express post, um, which costs $50 for a small package to ship to Australia. Um, so, I mean, we will put the cost up there and if you guys want to pay that price and have it shipped there, that is your choice. We're not forcing anything on you. We are not overcharging. This is literally what I am being told is the cost to ship a small, and I mean a small from six to eight ounces to Australia is $50. I believe it was like 50, 52 something. I don't remember. Um, so yeah. And if I may, so Doreen, I love your sweater, Jessica. Where did you get? And what are a couple of your websites you like to shop at? This love your style. Walmart. And yes, come to Tucson. This is from Walmart, like the like 2017 Halloween collection. Thank you. No, yeah, I, I shop a lot of uh, used places. I shop sales. I shop clearance. A lot of my stuff um, honestly comes from Killstar <laughs> when they do their sales or they have their clearance or their, their warehouse clear out stuff. So I, can, I get stuff super dirt cheap. Um, yeah, I don't pay them prices. I don't, if it, if it's not on sale, I don't buy it. <laughs> That's how I afford stuff. Um, and I do get some things through other places. Um, any place that has the Afterpay app where it breaks it up into four payments. That's how I buy a lot of stuff too. I put it on payment plans. Yeah. Hmm. So may I ask about my nails? What kind of nails are these? Gel. Gel. It's a gel manicure. Joe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Movies will be starting here in just a little bit. Everybody's coming in. I know. I'm trying to keep. I do want to say something else. I do want to say one more thing about the money. Payment plans are the best. There, there, yeah. are, there, there are things that YouTube channels do that really bother me. The first one is as soon as the YouTube video starts. Hey, if you like our videos, subscribe, hit the bell, ring the bell. I hate that. You'll never hear one of those in any of our videos. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. We never say, hey, subscribe now, oh, hit you, the Kelly. bell. We love you too. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. I absolutely hate it. You'll never hear it. The other thing that I, I say this all the time, I don't like talking about Hi, donations um, and people buying things from our store. Um, I'm very thankful. I am. Don't ever put yourself out. Families always come first. Mm -hmm. Whether yes. you do, whether you, you don't, your family come first. Whether you donate or not, or buy a T-shirt or not, the videos are still going to be here for you to watch. They're never going to go away. So just always remember that. If at any time you feel like you want to, it's appreciated. But don't worry about it. Mm. With that being said, I'm going to shut up because it makes me uncomfortable to talk about it. I'm just here to create videos with my wife and share them with you. That's all I care about. I don't mind the details. I'm good. I'm I'm good on that part, and he's like the creativity part. And I'm like, mm. let's get down to taxes. Let's let's get in some numbers. <sighs> Thank you, Brian. Oh, we want to go back to the clown hotel. We want to stay in a different room and do another video on it. Yeah. I just dyed my hair last night, and I keep shedding so much. <laughs> It's crazy. We're driving down to That's Sean's. why I'm constantly like. We're driving down to Sean's and she's just doing this. I'm putting them on me. And I'm like, God damn it. I do. Because it's right. like neon. 929. One more thing we got to cover. Tramp stamp. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Which is funny. Be All right. Um, <clears throat> we love you too. The link to tonight's movie is in the is, is pinned at the top of the chat as well as in the description. We're going to watch it all together here in just a little bit. Like one minute, two minutes. 
Chances are you probably already have this movie. If you do, put it in, get it queued up. If you want to sync with us, and at any time you have to go to the bathroom or you get a commercial or your kid or your grandma starts crying, that's sad. Um, yell out as loud as you can, tramp stamp. We might hear you here in California. If we don't, type it. We're in a big building, so we'll be listening. And we will tell you, hey, uh, this is where we're at. Timestamp, hey, Jeff. timestamp. Jessica, where did you get your spooky Mickey Mouse hat? Oh, so you guys see me wear <laughs> ears almost every weekend, and they're almost always made by one person. And her name is, I'm going to type it out for you so you can see it, what it looks like. Le O Neat by Beatrice. She is on Instagram. She has a web page where you can buy all of her creations. Um, she does fantasy ears, you know, all, the ones that look just like this, or they have a lot of characters that go across the top. She does horror themed one, all the horror themed ears that you've seen me wear. She's the one that makes them. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you, sweetheart. Somebody just said, we love you guys in UK, Great Britain. Here's we the thing. You too. We reached out to a horror convention out there called For the Love of Horror. If you're in the UK and you're anywhere near, I think it's in Manchester, and you're anywhere near this place called For the Love of Horror, reach out to them and say, hey, bring the Grim Life Collective. Bring the Grim Life Collective. And we might be there next <laughs> October, October 2023. Yeah. All right. Do you guys do political vids? IGFK video would be amazing. So, okay. Brian? All right. It's a weird question you just asked. We don't, there's things, it, we, there's things we don't talk about. We don't talk about politics, sports, and ghosts. <laughs> there's three different things. We don't like telling ghost stories. Ghost. ghost. Right? Now, so we don't talk about current politics or world affairs. But in Texas, when we're there at the end of the month, we are planning on doing a very um, comprehensive JFK assassination video. So be on the lookout for that. It's been done. A lot of people have done it. But Pardon if me. you know our videos, if you're familiar with how we do things, we like to look at everything with a different lens. So we have some stories to tell about JFK. Be your boy, be ready. With that being said, we got the movie. Jenny says, love Jessica's hair. Super interesting case in my hometown of Billington. Julie Hogg changed the double indemnity law in UK. You may find interesting. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you. <clears throat> Does everybody have the movie? Hold, uh, hold the phone, everybody, because we're going to get the movie started. Hold the phone. Hold, put down the phone. Put down the phone. The oh, movie. I cannot do a Scottish accent. Oh, my God. Ready? Three, two, <laughs> one. Hit play. <laughs> Our starts off with the. Thing. If I may say to all my Irish, Scottish, Got my and orange juice, British friends out there in the chat today, with all due love and respect, get it up, you. <laughs> I'm opening my orange juice. I gotta shake it. Hey, there's no pulp. I like orange juice with pulp. This one doesn't have any. They were. I love this movie. There's a lot of different theories as to why Kevin Bacon is constantly drinking orange juice. Different theories. One I don't of them know, Chronic Sinners. You have to watch it with us. I haven't seen it either. One of them being Kevin Bacon is drinking it for the vitamin C because oh. of something he experienced. Troy, that's so cute. Tell her I said hi to him. Damn, this is a good movie. Oh, thank you for stopping by and saying hi, Nicholas. Have a good night. Have a good I like night, pulp. Nicholas. I like them either way. Pulp doesn't bother me, but I do kind of, I like, I think I prefer it with pulp. Extra pulp. Yeah. Like freshly squeezed. Teenage Batman. No. <laughs> That's awesome because a new Batman movie just came out. Mm -hmm. And wonderful. it's going to be on HBO yeah. Max on April 18th. Woohoo! Question. No. I don't think you have to register to watch. We haven't had no. to register in the past. You should just be able to click on it, I think. Do not repeat. Do not create an account with Tubi. Just skip it. 
and go straight to the movie. You can watch it without yeah. doing that. You can register if you want. It's free to do it. I think it just allows you to put things in like, you know, watch later folder kind of thing, but it's not necessary. Thank you, Rock Man. I got a mouthful of cookie. <laughs> cookie and orange juice does not sound like it goes together. Think of it like an oatmeal. I guess. George! I say I'm Canadian to avoid politics. Oh, I can fair. share. That's fair. We just started the movie. Just started. Lisa, you impregnated my sister. Wow, they look so young. Oh God, he looks so young. Sheesh. <clears throat> Master Dick, hope you guys are well and doing good. And have you guys gotten any new movies to your Lizardus collection? Love and oh respect always. We got so many. Well, not since last weekend. Well, no, not since then. But we didn't show all the ones that we had gotten. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, sweetheart. And Something they're all else. we're. Someone asked earlier if we'd moved into our new place yet. No, we haven't. We're supposed to be getting so, our keys around the 20th. And so we should be moved in by the end of the month. We got our we got our new parking space today, though. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Hey, this is great. I need it. I think it's about time we had another kid. You know, I was going to bring it on myself one in this place. Yeah. <laughs> my husband is confused as to why I'm in here, what I'm doing here. You say I'm hanging out with my friends. We're hanging out and we're, we're watching a movie. I just got to watch a movie. Hanging out with my friends. Oh, and... Have we got anything from Custom Ink? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. We haven't checked the uh, P.O. box since, well, because it's a win uh, weekend. So. I haven't gotten anything, Nelsa. No, not Monday. yet. Monday. We'll be checking it Monday. We'll be checking it Monday, yeah. yeah. Still got a sucky security guard there. Or a security guard in this building likes to sit in his car and smoke cigarettes and throw his cigarette butts in our, in our parking garage. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. Elisa. Elisa. Did you guys see my edit from last time? Oh no, I didn't. I looked for it, and I unless you tagged us on um, Facebook because I can't see that one directly. Um, I was looking on Instagram though. I don't know if I was looking in the wrong spot. Humble Chris, merch will the store will, ah, the store will be open again this week. Look for it. We'll make a post, ma'am. <clears throat> we'll make a post on social media. Is that a Tramp stamp you're asking for, it, Kelly? I am because I Four minutes, 38 seconds. We thought about doing a pre-order, but we're really not sure when they're going to be delivered, and we'd rather have a closer date before doing something like that. It just leaves too much in the air. Because when we did the pre-order before, we got flooded every single day from people emailing us asking when they were supposed to come in. Hey, I haven't gotten my shipping information. They didn't understand that it was a pre-order and we had put all the shipping information under the pre-order. And it was it was too, when you when you do what we do and we're on the road so much, we just cannot respond to those kinds of questions and we have to ignore it. And it was so much that we couldn't even get to the things we um, were looking for in our email that had to do with business. So we're kind of trying to skip over that ordeal and not do it with a pre-order. Although I do find that to be easier, but we're, we're ordering in large quantities. So I know um, you guys are saying you're concerned about them selling out because sizes have sold out pretty quickly in the past. We should not have that problem this time. We are ordering in large quantities. Cookie. Just to, to try to avoid that because we know it's frustrating for you guys and it's frustrating for us too to have to constantly try and you know reorder and whatnot and you know because it's like um what do you how do you say uh oh what's the word oh i can't think of penny donahue hey guys if you're headed to texas be sure to keep an eye on the weather texas has been having the worst tornadoes we can't lose you guys. Have you picked up your packages? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Penny. Um, we'll be doing that on Monday. Monday. 
quantities, like base quantities. Oh, milk cookies. I'm sorry. I had to eat the cookies. My Insta is Alyssa Clark. I forgot to send it to you. Thank you, Alan. Waverly Hills Sanatorium. I was there years and years and years and years ago before they, they opened it up to people back when it was still like an abandoned place. Sarah, would you ever do a book highlighting your travels? I would absolutely love to do a book and at uh -huh. some Take point uh -huh. might do that. Um, it's oh. been something I've been wanting to do for so long. It's because your account is private, sweetheart. We can't see anything. I think you'd have to um, send it to us directly. I, maybe. I'm not sure how that would work. Oh. Michelle Caldera. What the hell, Bun Bun? Why are you... Because she's blowing us kisses. She's, blowing, she's, she's giving us a lemon kiss. That's my bestie. Uh. I love you, too. Thank you. Mm. Caldies. We know where you Thank live. You. We know where you are. Wait a second. Why are you here and not at the El Capitan watching Sleeping Beauty? Oh no, these two dollars found their way into your couch. <laughs> <laughs> Grim Life pumpkin carving kits, just a thought. Oh. So we did this thing. So tomorrow, all right. John Carpenter, one of our favorite directors. If you love horror, you probably love his movies as well recently put on his social media that he was liquidating his VHS collection. So he put together 45 boxes, 45 boxes. Each box has 10 VHS tapes in it. You don't random. know. Yeah, yeah. Random VHS tapes and an autographed eight by 10 of John Carpenter. We bought one. We're like one of the lucky people that got it. As soon as we bought it, it all, uh, Sold out. Yeah. But uh they shipped it the very next day and it should be here tomorrow. So we have no idea what VHS tapes we're getting from John Carpenter's personal collection, but we got this autograph coming as well. Um, I don't know why I told you guys that. Just really excited. It's cool. We're excited. So the only one that we can really confirm right now. Uh, the two is we're going to be at Texas Frightmare Weekend and Midsummer Scream. Um, Midsummer, cool. Midsummer, Midsummer, Midsummer Scream, we're going to be guests. There's something special happening with that we're working on. The we're also going to be through Monster Maybe. Palooza. We Maybe. could do that. Yeah. We could, uh, well, we'll, we'll probably be too excited when it open it when it gets here, but then we'd show you guys on the next live. No, I, I, we might go live and yeah. do it. Maybe Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Well, or, or YouTube. I don't okay. know. Yeah, it's sold out almost immediately. If I was we surprised did a live, we got one. Should we do it here or should we do it on Instagram? It would probably be like tomorrow night, I would think. Or Patreon. Oh, we have a Patreon hangout Thank coming you, this week as well. We're going to be making the announcement tomorrow. There's a big yeah. Patreon only hangout coming this week. Knock it off, Michelle. Michelle, you need to stop it. Is a mustache? It is a mustache. Captain Clayton, what up? What's up, man? No. We actually don't take a lot of plane trips. We prefer to drive. We do have a Patreon. All of our information where you can help or be a part of the Grim Life Collective, including Patreon and Cameo, or you can order a video from us. Yeah. Uh, a personalized video. It's all in, this, in the description of all the videos, including this one. I have to say, I have kind of really... Um, I, me and Patreon have this love hate relationship because I have all this content on my phone, right? And we're always like on the road and on the go, and we often don't have reception, and or I'm struggling to get a reception at all. And uh, just when I start to get in the swing of things of like making kind of at least one post a week to you know keep it a little lively. Then I don't make a post for like four weeks, you know, because we've been on the road. And when I can't make a post into something because I don't have a connection for so long, I kind of forget about it. 
And then I'm like, oh no, I forgot about yes, Patreon. Christina. Yes. Don't think that I don't love you, Patreon. I do. And I'm sorry. I should be more active with Patreon, and I do apologize. Oh. Let me go see. Do you want to tell them what we're doing on Tuesday? On a Tuesday? On Tuesday. On a Tuesday? Oh, that's so cute. Flipbook. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's really fun. Jeff Overing, no, I do not moisturize my tattoos. Sorry. That's awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> A little dizzying. <laughs> you don't moisturize your tattoos? Are you supposed to? No. I have no idea. I have no idea. I only have a little baby one. <laughs> there it is. That's it. That's my little baby tattoo. <laughs> James says, will you ever do consider doing a filming location video for John Carpenter's Assault from Precinct 13? That's, his favorite That's one, one, of my, of. one of my favorite movies yeah. by him. Um, it is coming. Humble Chris, do Picnic Table 29 at Griffith Park. It's haunting. We did! Yes, Humble Chris. All you got to do is do a search. But we did do a video on Haunted Picnic Table number 29. No, Michael doesn't paint. I don't paint Michael's nails. Uh, I mean, I have, but not these ones. Um, I actually take him to the nail salon and he gets his nails done when I get my nails done. Um, because I don't have a gel kit at home, although I am looking into getting one so I can do his nails at home. But um, trying to, he doesn't bite his nails, but he he's one of those people that instead of cutting his nails, he rips them. So it's often like it gives you ouchies, you know, because it's torn off too far. So I started getting manicures so he doesn't have ouchy fingertips, you know. And, um, well, it just kind of blows up in my face because we go too long in between and he rips them off again. <laughs> but they grow so fast anyway. You know, did the baby tattoo hurt? No. It actually made me laugh. So we're probably going to do Tuesday night. Probably Tuesday night is going to be our Patreon. Um, okay. We made an appointment to go Hi, see Michael. wedding dresses. Go try on wedding dresses. Um, five years ago, coming up on five years ago, when we got married, we didn't have an actual wedding. We got married in a square in Savannah, Georgia, by a friend, and we're actually we're, we are yeah. legally married, but we never had a an actual thing. So we're doing that this Halloween. So Tuesday, we're going to go look at wedding dresses for this. Slouch seven hundred four says, "Did you guys do the Daisy location? Love the vids. We didn't no. do it this time around. We only had a very limited time in Chicago, and we kind of picked the other ones over that one. So, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> we get asked a lot to do the Gacy location. Hi, Brazil. Um, we didn't, and I know to some of you that may seem like sacrilegious, but I'm sorry. We were the only in Chicago for two days, and we we had to pick and choose what we wanted to do. And I've 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 been to the Gacy locations before. There's really nothing to see. It's uh, okay. This is where the house once stood, which we will go back at one point mm -hmm. and do it. But it wasn't high on our list. Yeah. Doing H H Holmes, Harold Ramis, a couple other different things. Sadly, we had to pass. But like I said, we're going to be back in Chicago at some point this year Boobie? for an entire hey, week. Bacon boobies. Um. Even There's other on. stories I wanted to tell more than John Wayne Gacy. Florida boy, you guys are awesome. Hope to see you when you come to Florida. Thank you so much. Brian, thank you. He's like, what? Jason says you should be drinking beer. No, I shouldn't. No, thank you. Don't drink. Ah, William says good night, guys. It's late here. But good thank night. you. Thank it's you all for, for you. Bye. Enjoy a beer for yourself. Bacon boobies. Bacon boobies. Hello, Manila. Hello. Look, bacon boobies. <laughs> Grim boobies. She's like, what the hell? Mirna, my favorite Norwegian ghoul. I misplaced the name of the makeup you talked about. Help! Do you have a video or pictures of your wedding? Good question. The makeup that I was talking... Oh, it's called... 
Luna Tick Cosmetics. Lunatic Cosmetics is who I was wearing. Um, I wear her lipsticks a lot. We have pictures and video of us getting married. Sadly, you guys will probably never see it. It was something that was just me and her mm -hmm. in a haunted square in the middle of a windy day. And it was just for us. Um, when we do renew our vows, we're planning this October, we're probably going to live stream it. So you I guys are all invited. I Danny says that you look like Chris Motionless from Motionless in White. We, funny story, we didn't meet him <laughs> exactly, but we were in Orlando after we'd already moved to LA. We were visiting Orlando for um, Halloween Horror Nights, and we had like, you know, the, the fancy pass we bought because we were visiting. And Chris Motionless and his, I'm assuming, girlfriend happened to be the people directly ahead of us in line. And I knew who he was, but I didn't want to disturb him because, you know, he was there doing his thing and he looked like he wanted, you know, to just chill and have a good night. And I wouldn't want to be like, you know, because since we're directly behind, I wouldn't want to be like, oh my God, I know who he was. I don't listen to his music, but I was like, hey, I know that guy. He seems cool. I was like, that's his name. <laughs> I don't like the screamy music. Yeah. Screamy emo or I don't know even what you call it, but. Oh man, he Jessica. He seems like a cool guy though, but he does live in. in uh, Ivy Moonwolf in says, Hollywood. Jessica, what brand are the sunglasses you wore during the American Horror Story Coven filming locations? I love them. I, man, without even seeing them, I don't know if you, you can pull that them off. That would be no brand. <laughs> uh, I don't buy specific glasses from anybody. She has one pair of designer sunglasses that she's never worn. They're the most expensive pair of sunglasses I've ever bought. She's afraid bought. to put them on her face because I, uh, she will knock them off. They're $80. I'm going to go get them right now. Go get I'll them. show you. It took me five years to buy these sunglasses. Yes, Florida boy, SMC. We have been to Casadega. We have done a video of our time in Casadega. Hey, Michael, Jessica, great job on the Ed Gein crime scene film video. That was disturbing, to be honest with you. Dustin, so visiting those, those locations from those famous killers, the famous true crime, it's something I've been wanting to do my entire life. I wasn't even prepared to be... I knew that we were going to do the Ed Gein stuff. I researched it. I knew where it was. But I did not expect how I would react to it until I got there. It, it completely Lady caught me off guard. Shit. So, so there's a bit of story <clears throat> behind these sunglasses. We <clears throat> got to shoot some behind-the-scenes footage of a movie. And oh, we, yeah. I forgot to, I to drink orange juice. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm talking. A cameo is in a movie for a friend yeah. of ours movie that we still kind of can't really talk about yet and tell you details nope. about it. But um, we got to meet some people there. And thanks for reminding me about the orange juice. One of the people that we met who happens to be a horror oh. writer um, and actor, but primarily he's a writer though. His wife runs the company. Mm -hmm with Michelin Pitt. So it's not Michelin Pitt's um, Vixen. It's La Femme and Noir, which is their high-end line. So she has like the pinup girl version of her line, which is the Vixen. No. And then she has La Femme and Noir, which is like, it's, it's, it's so classy. It's so classy. Um, like the higher-end kind of dresses and stuff like that. And when we were... When we're interviewing him, he was like, you're like, you look like you shop at my wife's company. And I was like, what's your wife's company? And he said, look, him in Noir. And I was like, that's because I do. <laughs> so it was really cool to meet him and say hi. I haven't gotten to meet his wife, but they were really, really great. And um, it took me five years to buy these sunglasses. These are $80 George, sunglasses. George, will Satan make money. Thank you. <laughs> um, they're always out of stock. They're really hard to get. And I had to put them on a payment plan, which is fine. That's fine. But they come in this really nice hard box. And that's just the box that says Let Them In Noir. And then inside that box is another box. And that is the coffin 
shaped eyeglass case, which I, it's just, this, this is why it costs $80. And I never wear them because I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I am. With them in the water. It's velvet, velvet lined <clears throat> coffin for your sunglasses. And they're, they're gorgeous. And I would die if I scratched them. And I am notoriously bad at like sitting on sunglasses. I, I, I broke his, his eyeglasses. <clears throat> He has these brand new fancy eyeglasses because I sat on his last pair. I have little moons right here. They're so pretty. Now I tried them on. I think I, I tried these on one time. Oh, I am so stylish. They're really nice. They're very well made. I'm just, I'm terrified to wear them outside. <laughs> I know it, some people might not say that this is expensive for glasses because there's, you know, Gucci's and Prada's and whatever that costs a lot more. But, or like his, his costs like $600. And I sat on them. I sat on them, y'all. I still remember the day that happened. You guys still bring it up, actually. In jest. You guys are cute. I love you. I know they're. I love these. <clears throat> I love these. That's what I tell her. DTA says life's short. Just wear them. True. Just put them on. Well, I can't wear them inside at night. Not. You know what I mean. I'll start wearing them. I will. I promise. I'll start wearing them. Well, also for the longest time, I lost them in the house. <laughs> I don't know where they were. <clears throat> No, yeah, my goals are prescription. They're uh, what do you, what do you call those transitions? It, it doesn't matter. They're they're prescription. Prescription is what what cost. So the transitions are just just. Oh, whatever. that's not what makes them crazy. No. Oh well, yeah, prescription. That and the brand like of them. The, uh, I thought of the transition effect that made them costly. I don't need prescription glasses, so I know nothing about the cost of needing prescriptions. Ryan says, "Love you guys. Have you guys been to the?" Villa, oh, the Villisca, Villisca Murder House. The no, act, not uh, yet. How do you say that? At some point, we'll go back and do it. Pronounce it for me. Villisca. Villisca. Yeah. We know about it. It's on our list of places to go. A lot of the places they are. We'll make it out there eventually. Yeah. That is, if that's the one thing I've heard of all <clears> my <throat> life from people who needed eyeglasses is that they are very expensive. Michael is nearsighted? So Mob Talk Radio, love the content. You guys are great. Been sending people your way for my lives. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Great uploads the last few days. Well, thank That's you. Awesome. We got thank two you, more. Man. Like I said earlier, we got two more coming from this trip in particular, and we got some more stuff around LA. Thank and you, then Michael. we're gonna be hitting the road again. We're actually hitting the road a lot uh this year. We are planning something massive well we're trying to get a big project happen to happen right around halloween don't know if it's going to happen yet or not one of the things that i absolutely hate to do is rely on other people <laughs> not in a bad way not in a bad way but i i get these we, we get these these ideas to take these trips to go and do something and um we do it we do whatever we can to do it, it becomes a number one priority in our life and um, a lot of times you have to wait on other people to either confirm or either way or this. And it, it, can, it, can, it can get a little hard. Adam, hey, recently walked past Kevin Bacon sitting in a chair at a movie shoot in my city of White Plains, New York. So technically you were one degree of bacon that day. Keep up the awesome contact room, fam. Thank you so much, Adam. That's cool, man. That's cool. So... We get a lot of questions like Bob says, you ever going to do anything on Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito? So we get asked a lot, like all the time, are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? Think of it like this way. Our bucket list is huge. If it's true crime, yes, at some point. Just saying. Yeah, our bucket list oh. is, is very, very big. So, um... Hello, Canada. 
Julie Thorburn, when you guys go out, how many fans come up to you and say hi? That is a... It varies. It varies. Some days it's a lot more than others. Other days, not so much. It's strange because here in LA, it happens quite a bit. And we're very, very thankful. And some mm-hmm. people will, will they'll say like Grim Life and then they run. And it's like, well, stop. Let's, let's like talk. Like you yeah. enjoy the videos. Are you traveling? Like oh, go out and do you, something. Christina. Thank you, sweetheart. We love whenever people come up to us and say, hey, I really enjoy your show. It, it helped me get through this time or it brought me closer to my family. So if you see us, please say hello. We've run into people everywhere. My mm-hmm. hair is kind of uh, obvious, and Michael's really tall. We hear a lot. Hello, Davis. What's up, Davis? We hear a lot of What's times um, they'll see Michael first, and then they'll be like, I'll know if it's him if a girl in green hair walks up. And then here I am. And they're like, oh, my God. Hi. How many okay. I never get mistaken for Jim Carrey, but a lot of people say oh, I people look. Comment, yeah. A lot of people say I look like a younger or a darker Jim Carrey. Hello from Japan. Hi, konnichiwa. And, and thank you for subscribing and watching. I told my brother. Ah. Where you go? Told about you, and he subscribed oh, also. Amazing. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. I know that that's not, it's like a super formal hello, but that's the only one I know. Marissa says, I seen you both at HHN in Orlando, and I was nervous to say hi. I kicked myself for not saying hi. Maybe uh... one day I can redeem for that. Marissa, I am going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. You ready? 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 We've talked about this. We've talked about this. We've talked about this. There's a very good possibility, a very good chance a rumor thank you Teresa that we may be at spooky empire in June in Orlando in Orlando tram stamp stamp. so if you're in the Orlando area keep an eye out because it may happen it may happen indeed 27 minutes and 20 seconds and I can guarantee you we will be at HHN whenever that finally opens up You talked to Samantha? Samantha's been dead. How have you talked to Samantha? How have you talked to Samantha? They check out skills. Oh, she lives in Chicago. Marissa lives in Chicago. <sighs> Brian says, who do you think perped the Black Dahlia murder? I forgot their names, honestly. I think it was the the doctor that lived... Yeah. That lived um, where her body was found. Yeah, I think so. The coincidence is not. I know everybody says the guy who lives in the very interesting house, the the cop, his his father is the one who did it. Um, I don't think it was. It's sensational. Sure. Lives in that really cool house, that really spooky house. Of course, it's a ghost story. It's a, you know what I mean? I, but I think that it was the surgeon that was connected yeah. to the family in one way, shape, or another. That was living they always say right where the body was it's found. Oftentimes, someone who knows you from the family is, is somebody in your life. It's it's very rarely strangers. Yeah. Not that it's not ever strangers. Obviously, you look at all the zero killers who were strangers. But um, I just don't buy the yeah. Aztec house. The guy who the the police officer's dad. I I, I just don't. <laughs> so how do you donate? So if you want to donate or you want to buy something from our shop, our shop is going to be open again this week. Or if you want to send us something, we do have a PO box as well. All of that information is in the description of each of our videos, including this one. Captain Clayton says, do you recommend the RIP tour at HHN? Your video made me want to go. If you're in L.A., you have to do the RIP tour. Yes. It is so worth your money, and I cannot stop talking about the food they give you. If you're in Orlando, you are better off doing the, um, what do they call it? There's the Express. The Express Pass. Get the Express Pass. It's way yeah. more worth your money. Yeah. Way more worth your money. Hodel. That's the guy's name. Hodel. Black Dahlia Hodel. I uh, am I a Disney know. fanatic. You are correct. 
Well, we both are, really. We have annual passes to, to the Disney park down here. In and LA. Universal. Yeah, and, and Universal. We don't have Nussberry Farm yet because they're not available. We missed out when they were available. Oh, thank you, David. What about the Elisa Lamb case? That's a crazy one. We technically already did. But it was more about just visiting the ho the Cecil Hotel. We talked yeah. about her and what happened there, and some of the other yeah. deaths inside that hotel. You can find that on our on our channel as well. If you guys make it down to Massachusetts in October, you guys should come check out Demented FX. It's one of the top rated haunted houses in the state. It's located in MA. Mogan's box. Mogan's. Peter London, London will be interesting to you. Ties to U.S. where killings began in a country. Uh, a whole bunch of citizens. Yeah, in between New York and L.A., this was a big, big case tragedy, killing, including children. The name sounds very familiar. Sometimes I got to do a little bit of a deep dive on people, and uh, I'll, the name will be familiar, but I can't recall any of the details, and I'll look that one up again. Thank you. Thank you, Majin. Ma is it Majins or Mogans? I feel like there's different ways that I can say your name. Yvonne Talk Elias Adventures TTV says, have you guys come to explore Roswell, New Mexico? We have. We, 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 we didn't oh. do a video on Roswell. but They we, were kind of closed at the time. Yeah. Like it, off season. We something. went to Roswell and right, it was like January of 2021. Snow. Everything was closed, so we didn't really we didn't do a video. We just drove through. We spent a night at one of the hotels there, and uh, ate at the uh, the UFO Thank McDonald's, you. and then we we Thank left the next morning. <clears throat> Mark Johnson says, "I have a high forehead." Dude, thank you. I can say some other things, but I'm not going to. Hello, Brazil. That's the thing is that it's the camera. It's you don't though. I wouldn't lie to you. What did you say? Yeah, what right? Did say? Huh? huh? What, what did you say just now? Oh, that voice. Let, let oh waking up at 6 a.m. in the UK has its perks. Good morning, UK. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, darlings. Ow. Mob Talk Radio. What I like most about the both of you is your show is factual, creepy, and genuine. So many YouTube shows oh, aren't. Thank you. Kudos going to Plainsville, Gutsy, and I cover the mob for a living. You're mob Talk festival. Radio. Um, kudos for you for doing that as well. The Mob Festival. Um, the Mob Festival. Mob yeah, for a living. Festival, yeah. Um, it's just. Good thank you. Mom. That means a lot. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. Hello, Poland. Still the sun. See, if you have it on Blu-ray, by all means, watch it. If you want to know where we are right now, tramp stamp, I'll give it to you. 33 minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, knock it off, bacon. He's sizzling. <laughs> Oh, they almost caught me. What? It's like, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Look. I'm pointing at it. Nope, don't do it. I am not doing it. Nikki, have you guys ever brought anything home with you from a graveyard? Brought anything home like a spirit or like an item? Bump, bump, bump. Well, bump. it doesn't really matter which question it is because the answer to both is no. We don't take things from uh, the cemeteries and graveyards that we visit. We bring things to graveyards and cemeteries that we visit to any pay our respects. Any and favorite rock bands? No one's ever followed us home as far as I can tell. I choose Led Zeppelin. 
Oh, gosh, man. I only had real skulls of animals. I don't have any people. I like pretty much all music. I mean, if, if, if the music's got a rhythm to it. Um, I like a little bit of everything, but there's a lot that just doesn't click for me, too. It, it's weird. Like our our, our musical tastes How are our musical tastes are all over the place. So I I can't really ask, answer that question. I like a little bit of everything, and every genre. I can probably find at least one artist I like, and mm. from probably every artist, I could probably find one song I like from them at least. I don't know if well that I I really don't care for ska. I can tell you that. I really don't like The Cure either. Everybody loves The Cure. I, I never, never liked The Cure. Except for there's like that one song that got really popular and sometimes. Oh, okay. I so. It, but. <laughs> Ryan, Eileen Warnos, Monster or Victim, your thoughts? 100% Monster. Uh, so she may have started off as a victim. May but have, she didn't stop. but she didn't stop. She became, she, she became she became the monster, and she was okay yeah. with the monster, even though she blamed everybody else for what she did. She which, thought she was which being righteous. She she had a reason to. Yeah, but love to push mode. But she she could have stopped. She didn't. She didn't. Yeah, it, it became no. So she's she to me she was a monster. Never been bothered with dreams or anything like that from the places that we visited. <clears throat> Nothing like that, no. Oh, I love typo negative. That's awesome, Mastodic. <clears throat> so cool. Chris, Chris, where do you guys get your clothes? I feel like you're both serving a look all the time. Love the Ed Gein and Dahmer video. Well, thank you for for loving those videos. So we buy our clothes pretty much from anywhere that really suits us. I, I mean, we have all kinds of different stores, uh, especially here in LA. Um, yeah. Most uh, like I'm a big fan of horror T-shirts mm -hmm. or We're sweaters or places. anything. It's just it's kind of kind of strange. Mm -hmm. um, I've been wearing a lot of Blackcraft Colt lately. Blackcraft Colt and Killstar. A lot of it. Yeah. Oh, hi, Prague. They are just dapper, eyes free, says. I, I, I don't know. I, I shop from so many different places. You know, when we get moved into our new apartment and we can actually take you around and do a house tour, we'll do a closet tour at some point, too. If not on YouTube, we'll do it on, like, either TikTok or Instagram. TikTok. Yeah. We'll definitely do that for you guys sometime. I'm kidding, but I'm not. Thank you, Bell. Thank you. Yeah, we shop a lot from Killstar when they have their sales. My hometown of El Paso, Texas has a great true crime called The Desert Killer in the 1980s. Might yeah. be worth a look. Thank you for the heads up. Thank you, King Snyder. Happy Halloween. Love you guys. Happy Thank Halloween. you very much. And happy Halloween to you. What sports do you no, like? I just got full already. We I, don't like any sports. I was eating a lot before we went live. I am a I I, donuts. I am a fan of couch surfing. I really only shop when they have specials, actually. <laughs> Hello, Mary Ann Wheeler. Boo. I scared you. Did you jump? Boo. Uh. What's your most prized autograph? Michael M Michael Mueller says. Mm. Ooh, that's a good one. Um Tim Curry. Hers is Tim Curry. Mine's yeah. gonna be Vincent Price. Solid. Mine's, yeah. Yeah. Two great ones. Solid. Ha, um, other than, have you all been able to visit any Bundy places other than Florida? Uh, we passed through we some to. areas in Colorado, but we had yeah. to get back home. Um, the for some video. things that we can't really talk about just yet. Man, that running hurt. So, um. We're going, to, we're going to be heading back to Colorado at some point, like the Denver area. We do have Vincent Price's autograph, but it's not on a horror movie. Mm -mm. He is he was a very rare one. By the time he started coming around to modern day, you know, when things were <clears throat> a big deal getting um, signatures and stuff, he was <clears throat> well into his age. 
So, so there's not <clears> the things that he signed. We get asked a lot for us to do a home tour. One of the very first tours that you guys are going to get is going to be coming in the next couple of weeks when we move. And it's going to be our autograph collection. So all the different things that we have, which is going to make your head spin. Trust me when Good I tell night, you. Ilsa. Good night, <clears throat> sweetheart. Thank you for coming in. So can you guys notify when you're in the Denver area? We do not do that for safety reasons, as yeah. well as we're always on the move. So if we do a video, we're constantly moving and constantly filming. And then we stop for the night. We go back to the hotel and relax. Yeah. But with that being said, if we can get a meet and greet set up in some sort of horror store or oddity shop or something like that, that can coincide with us being there, mm -hmm. then we will notify saying, hey, we have this event. You're more than welcome to come to that. But whenever we're filming or if we're just in town, like anything like that, mm -hmm. we, we, we tend to just keep to ourselves and just keep moving forward. We're also very yeah. short on time. We When we stop places, we're not always stopping there. We're often passing through um, because we're literally driving through. We don't always have a hotel in that area. Um, so it's really due to time restraints. Time is money. You know, especially when you're renting cars and stuff like that. And you have to be from A to B by a specific point. Um, how many I thought these were sugarless. Do I, have? I have a lot. I thought these were sugar free. No, this one is a, a new packaging. I'll take the old one. Thank you. Oh, and we can't open both. <gasps> this one's mine. Fine, we'll just open one. Maudlin, you're fine. Go to sleep. Good night, sweetheart. We want a grim tour tour. Ha 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 ha. We will. We so will. It's we'll, going to be a while though still. Yeah. Because we have to get everything unpacked and we have some, um, we have to buy some furniture and stuff like that, you know. So it's going to be a minute, but it will happen. I promise. Hey Alex. guys, is Dallas in your schedule anytime soon? You're probably just joining us right now, but we are going to be at Texas Freightmare Weekend, which is in Dallas at the end of April. April 29th, May 1st, May 2nd, those three days at Texas Freightmare <gasps> Weekend. That's fair. I stole yours today. I took them right out of his hand. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas guy, we chatted today. Guys, when are you going to get passports and do Europe? You guys are high level. We're working on it. We're working on it. Who chatted today? I don't know. He said that. Um, that was guy. Huh. We are. We're working on getting our passports and uh, getting over to the UK. We don't do Twizzlers here. We do red vines. Mmm. Just melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Because they're fresh. Mm. We have you. No, get away. Get, ah, ah. Damn it. Um. Hmm. That's a good question. So sorry. It's red vines, not Twizzlers. So I don't think it just has original red. It's not that kind of flavor. You can buy flavored ones, but I've tried the grape ones. The grape ones were okay. Yeah, sometimes I like it when they're all dried out and hard, too. Red vines are way better than Twizzlers. Way better. Kevin says you're a national treasure. You may be a national treasure. Me, I'm hamper socks. Are we? That's a national him? treasure. <laughs> Please don't kiss me tonight until after you brush your teeth. Why? They taste like boogers. Boogers. <laughs> <laughs> Davis Bell. No, we, we are. Don't, we, we, don't are drink we are not coffee fans. I can't stand the smell of coffee. Actually. Brewing coffee smells like cat poop to me. I'm one of those people that brewing coffee smells like animal feces. No joke. 
we were living with my parents for a while in Orlando. And they have cats and dogs. And, and they're, my mom's not a regular coffee drinker. She would just have coffee every once in a while. And I would always forget that. And I would wake up and start hunting the house because I thought that one of the animals has gone to the bathroom in the house because it smells that strong and disgusting. That it literally smells like animal feces. Until I would walk into the kitchen and realize, oh, she's brewing coffee. Mmm, mm -mm -mm. mm, boogies. Oh, hello? I don't know. What Ready kind for of it? Ready for it? Gets. Hold on. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, sweetheart. Hey, Jake, wait up. What am I watching for? I definitely do not remember this movie at all. Like, at all. It's coming. I have attended a military funeral. My dad got a military funeral burial. Amstel54 says we should have a show on Shudder. Oh, let them know <clears throat> that. Tell them that. Yeah, tell them that. Tell them that. They might listen. Am I still waiting? Florida boy Sean says, I want an autograph. Well, thank you, ma'am. Um, this week, our web store is going to be back open. We have new 8x10s that are coming. New 8x10s that we're going to sign with. And we got to order those paint pens, too. And we have some new yes. posters, some Grim Life Collective posters that are going to uh -huh. be coming. Thank you, Kenneth. Great intro to the thing with two heads tonight. Thank you. Glad you caught that. Again, Hi, after this, did. go back and go and watch Hi. the show. Hi, Selena. Caitlin! So many great videos lately. You guys are awesome. Are there any events in LA around October that you can't miss? That's a really good question. Um, I'm really... I'm really excited for the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. We missed that last year completely. Yeah. What if Shudder offered y'all your own ghost hunting show? I would turn it down. I don't want a ghost hunting show. Mm -mm. There's so many ghost hunting shows out there. Everybody and their mother wants to go ghost hunting and have a show. And it's been it's been way too overdone. Um, doing something like we do now on Shudder, I'd be happy with. But no ghost hunting. Occasionally, you'll see us doing some ghost hunting and talking about ghost hunting. But we are not a ghost hunting channel. Let me just say that. Honk, honk. Beep, beep. I missed what the guy was saying. It's about the, the site. Oh. Well, I saw that part, yeah. Oh, yeah, Azimata. We heard about um, Terra Traders Markets. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to pass through when they're having one. Um, they're just really great dudes. I don't know if you saw on their feed recently, but one of the um, people that worked there in the store, the, the guy with the, the green hair like mine, he just proposed to his girlfriend the other day it was all staged and yeah the shop helped them do it and it was really really cute they showed some video and pictures of it and it was really cool so next time you go in there tell them congratulations they're all a great bunch of people it was funny kevin bacon is plucking away at this guitar mm -hmm. so she's an amazing artist too an amazing artist well, he's an amazing artist. She's an amazing artist. They're all yeah. amazing artists. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Shadow. Lily says, I will always be a Grim Life... What? Collective fan for life. And I will always be a 
gremlin fan for life so happy halloween with spooky hands i like it when you say we happy halloween not with spooky done hands. The zodiac yeah we want to do this we did do some zodiac there's no tattoo <sighs> tour to do with me i just have the one and i already showed it so mm. we did do a zodiac um Kelly, probably about like a, a year ago, we have more coming that we want to do. There's so much that we want to do. So much. And we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I promise you. What's your favorite horror movie kill? Murder scene. Ooh, that is good. Oh, ah, gosh. Ooh, ah, e, ah. I don't know ooh, if I can even pick ah, one. E, ah, ooh, ah. Man, it's hard. Uh... That's like asking what my favorite horror movie is. That's just a really big question. Favorite horror movie kill. Hello, Australia. Thank you. I don't know. I just I, I, I love them all. I know it's not, not, not the answer you want. Is there like a specific <clears throat> movie genre or series or like this or that? I, I have a better time answering, you know, do you like the kill scene from this versus that? But picking out one kill scene from an entire higher history of cinema man that's, that's there's there's cool. one movie there's American one mary is a really good movie there's one kill scene that has stuck with me since i was a little kid that okay. haunts me to this day what is it killer clowns from outer space oh that's right i forgot where the guy who's working at big top burgers takes mm -hmm. the trash hi whales oh this is a great story this is a great story okay so um Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Big Top Burgers. The guy who works in Big Top Burgers in the movie, he's taking out the trash and he lifts up the trash can and he throws the bag in and then the trash can starts shaking. He's like, what the hell's going on? So he lifts it again and he gets sucked into the trash can. You don't get to see him die, but you know he dies. Well, we were at Creepy Con in um, Creepy Con Convention. I don't remember the name of the town that it was in. Shoot. Oh, San Bernardino Bad Convention Bad Center. And the cast from Killer Clowns from Outer Space was there. And I think it's Mike Martinez. We got to talk to him. It turns out he's a fan of our show. We're a fan of him because of the movie. He was actually the person, the actor, inside the trash bin during that scene, shaking it and pulling his yeah. friend in. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool mm -hmm. that this scene from this movie that terrified me growing up, the Ontario Convention Center. Yeah. Um, the guy who was in that scene that terrified me as a kid is a fan of the show that Jessica and I create and bring to you guys, and I got to sit and talk to him. It was cool. If I had to pick a death scene from my childhood that stuck with me, it would be Nightmare on Elm Street, Dream Warriors. The puppeteering with the um the veins i don't know why that one particularly creeped me out i don't know if it's because of the veins look so realistic and then you walk into a ledge and i have a thing with heights and i was like really bothered by it but that's the one that stuck around for me as a kid i don't know if because it was gruesome or if it was just because well what's cool about that know. when we did our hundred thousand subscriber video we went to that I scene like i know what was that like for you it didn't, I mean, because we were we were on the ground, so obviously I wasn't scared. But looking you know? up, you know, you can see that. It's, it's kind of cool, oh, right? Yeah. It, it, I would be very uneasy up there. We would love to come and see Scotland. I want to go to Naveed's store where they filmed um, Still Game. Uh oh, we got a best cams fun person in here. Oh, we got a bot. We do got a bot. Uh -huh. How do you? How do we get rid of them? I do it. I did it. What'd you do? I hid them. I hid them from the channel. I did too. Oh man, double whammy. Double whammy. I would love to go to Japan. I really would. Japan. Yeah. So. Oh, they're, they're invading Sean's stream too. Everybody's trying to make money, including the bots. I mean, 
How many of you guys, are you guys getting phone calls daily Hi. about your car's extended warranty? Daily, man. Oh my God. It's like two to three times a day we yeah. get it on our phones. And I'm like, son of a gun. It's like, we, you have yet to, I'm like, what? I don't know if, if when we come to Scotland, if we would do a video on, on the Loch Ness, but I would absolutely go to some of the filming Look locations for a still game. Oh, no way. We just saw that today. The Lidsville. Yeah. Um, Lidsville. Lidsville. Uh, what's the name of the damn show? Lidsville. That's what it's that called. Is, yeah. Craft, right? Yeah. There they are. That's so funny. That kid's cool. Creepy. My phone will actually say spam risk, and then, you know, I know not to answer. But then I'm just like, oh, that looks like a local number. I'll answer that one. And then it's still. You hey, know, your card's you, you guys ready for this? You want to know an interesting little fact about the Jeffrey Dahmer video? that I purposely left out of the Jeffrey Dahmer video to see if anybody would be like, oh, yeah, here's an interesting fact for you about the video that you did Let's not mention. World War Z was kind of creepy. When Jeffrey Ooh. Dahmer was okay. caught, if you watch the video, we are talking about him getting caught and the guy that was handcuffed and then he takes the police up there and they see the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the Polaroids. What was Jeffrey Dahmer watching on TV? When he was caught. I don't know. Do you guys know? Oh, no. Google it! Jeffrey Dahmer was watching The Exorcist Part 3. I didn't mention it at all in that video. On purpose. Because I wanted to see if somebody would be like, Oh, you left out this important tale, horror person. Nobody mentioned that for some reason. Somehow, somebody, they all forgot to do it. But I left that out. Interesting, right? Boo. I mean, I'm sure that information was mentioned. He probably said that's what he was watching. If you read his, you go back on his interviews, but I, I didn't remember that. Yeah. That is crazy. We did Salem's Lot filming locations. We did? Beautiful countryside. And they remade it. In California. It's going to be coming out soon. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I got the burps. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was that was in your belly. That was in my throat. And your th oh, the throat yeah. rumbles. Those are those tickle. Ah, uh, Slouch seven hundred four. Grim, do you think he's responsible oh, for Adam me. Walsh's murder? Uh, I do, and I I get it. So many people are out there saying Otis Tool was the guy. He confessed to it. Then he took it back. Then he confessed to it. Then he took it back. Knowing what we know about Jeffrey Dahmer today. And knowing that he was in Florida in that exact spot on the side of the road, on the side of a on the, is too high on the side of a turnpike. There's nothing yeah. around for miles. Nothing. Even if he didn't maybe do it directly, he had some he had some involvement. He had some involvement in it. Bus Air says, Hey, hope you like the Doppelganger video. I emailed you guys. Any chance of watching the original Night of the Living Dead or other public domain horror? For what, on this? I think we did. I think, yeah, we did. Oh. Well, it's been quite some time, and we try not to repeat them, because yeah. there's so many movies, but... I, I, as far as I know, we have not repeated any movie for Grimm Up All Night. No, we haven't. Mm -mm. We've talked about them, yeah. but we haven't repeated one for watching. So... Bo Eric Hammond, he said he definitely killed Adam Walsh. I didn't know it until Grimm did that video. Perfect. Oh, wow. If you don't know this and you only watched our Dahmer video, uh -huh. a long time ago, we actually did a video on the locations of the Adam Walsh murder in Hollywood, Florida. So look that up. We talk more about Jeffrey Dahmer in that as well. Once you see that video... Our, our Adam Walsh video, I guarantee you, you're going to be like, it what? was Dahmer. And Dahmer killed yeah, Adam I, Walsh. I think it, it, the coincidence, I, I, I can't outright say that he did it because right. I don't know. You know, nobody knows except for the person who did the actual murder. But the coincidences are way too wacky. 
Yeah. Chill out on the ghosts, please. Ghosts. Spooky, spooky. Spookies. They fill up the whole box. That they're really big. <clears throat> Thank you. Xander Harris, no, we did not go to Bachelor's Grove. I've been there in the past. I never did a video on it, but I have been to that cemetery. Uh, when we go back again, mm -hmm. again, when we go back to Chicago, we're going to be there for about a week, maybe that, two. Kelly. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we're home right now in California. We're in Hollywood right now. Holly weird. Hi, UK. Hello. Stand by me filming location. Eventually it'll come back, Big Jess. We got plans. We got plans, man. We got plans. Hello, Germany. Hi. Good morning. Guten Tag. I know it's not Guten Tag. Knock is night. But I think it's Guten Tag. We will look into it, bus era. We can see the Hollywood sign from our building. It's pretty cool. Our Hollywood sign is right yeah. there. Boo. So I said Tuesday. Tuesday will be, Tuesday night will be our Patreon only hangout. Thank you, Kelly. So if you are a Patreon member, we won't be watching a movie. Instead, it'll just be more of a one-on-one, -on -one, let's just hang out talk. It's a lot yeah. smaller, a lot more intimate than this. Like maybe 50 or less people. Maybe 50 or less people. Yeah, and so it's it, a lot we'll easier to answer your questions. No movie, just hanging out. And um, that'll be Tuesday for Patreon-only people. I promise you, by Tuesday, by the time that that goes live that night, um, the store will be up and running except for the T-shirts. Except for the t-shirts. Well, I think we have a couple um, larger size left, right? We have, I'm going to say 2X and up of a couple of colors of the orange and green, I believe. I don't know if we have any glow in the dark. We will list those only. So mm -hmm. 2X and up, if you want a shirt, look for those. If not, you're going to wait another couple weeks because we have to wait for that shipment to get here from Chicago. What time on Tuesday? I'm thinking we'll probably go live 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is 11 o'clock Eastern 3X. Standard Time. We go all the way up to 3X. Mm -hmm. And in the new shirts, we might go up to 5X. Because yeah. with the people we were getting our shirts from before, um, I want to say that the 3X was the biggest Thank that they you, had. Thank you, And with the new supplier, they go up to 5. I can see you, Hetty. I feel like I did know that, Brian. I feel like I've heard that before. Hugh Hefner, Alice Cooper yeah. even owns a letter. Oh, owns a letter? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, all right. I love this question. This is awesome. Amanda Black says, what do you guys think of Art the Clown? Sorry this is me. a two-parter. I'm so sorry. Because David is actually a friend of ours. Um, He's a sweetheart. David is freaking hilarious. He's the most kindest, gentlest person we've ever encountered. We love meeting him. His smile is infectious. Um, Art the Clown, terrifying as all hell. I, Looking at David and looking at Art the Clown. It's a lot of prosthetics. Well, the characters, like the personalities, I would never in a million years guess Yay. that David was the one behind um art the clown um that being said in cincinnati we also got to sit and talk with damien uh the guy who directed who made terrifier also very nice guy very nice guy yeah. um I, I can't wait to see him again i don't know when's the, are they gonna be at texas frightmare i don't know i don't think they are mm -hmm. but i can't wait till we get to see them again I, you know, I could have been forgetting about the OJ. Now, to be honest, it's you been. Don't want to it. Oh, I haven't. I haven't had orange juice in so long. Ah, guten Morgen. So you. I started drinking this, and I realized I'm not a big fan of orange juice. I liked it before, but this Different. is like it's well, too acidic. It's, it's very acidic. Yeah. Want to try it? No, thank you. Are you sure? Uh -uh. It tastes like blueberries. Guten Morgen. 
Sunny D. Better. <clears throat> I'm learning. I can say hello in at least a handful of languages, but I get them confused and mixed up all the time. <clears throat> So yeah, Davis Bell, our Patreon has undergone a lot of changes over the past year. We used to have this this postcard club, and Sunny D is nasty. It just the whole but mail there, system pretty much screwed that up. Chicago is haunted as hell, but Nashville is a massive swirling nexus of paranormal. Too many haunted places to mention. Any plans to visit? Yes, but not for the ghosts. <laughs> Not for the ghosts. We don't travel to a place just to to, to go ghost hunting. Yeah. Um, instead, we have a video coming out that is one of the most haunted places oh, in America. Did you see all the orange juice in that scene? Yeah, he's wow. got a lot. Yeah. One of the most haunted places in America. 95% of the video is us talking about how the ghosts, those who supposedly haunt this place, died. Their lives. Their lives. Yeah. What brought them to the brink of mm -hmm. death and pushed them over into death. Mm -hmm. um, and then we talk a little bit about the ghosts. Yeah. So we have a different thing. So yeah, but no. We don't make boxer shorts. Sorry, Kevin. We're not to that point yet. I am wanting to do like a full line of clothing in the future. We're just trying to find somebody that's reliable for us. I want to do women's tank tops. Um, I want to do men's tank tops. I want to do hoodies. I want to do... Um... I want to do diapers. Shut it. <laughs> Numb bandit. I want to do eye patches. Para arriba. No hay ninguna prisa. I don't know what that means, but thank you. I want to do... Thank you. Thank you. I think Go there's ahead. a pirate out there somewhere who goes, Man, I wish I had a grim life eye patch. And you know what? I'm going to make it possible. That pirate, that lonely pirate with one eye is going to be pretty snazzy with a grim ghoul well, we, yeah, we on his face. Yeah, we want to do a little bit of everything. I want to do um, sweatpants and girls' shorts, you know, the booty shorts <laughs> and stuff like that, too. But um, it's either <clears throat> finding a way to set it up in-house or getting a supplier. And we're honestly having a little bit of trouble finding either. So. Grim life condoms. No. Y yes. No. Oh yeah, we want to make baseball hats and stuff like that too. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Look at that tattoo. It's my dream. It's my dream to, to make all those things with different Grim Life sayings on them. You know, not just our logo, but like other cool stuff. Right. Kelly wants to wear yeah. an eye patch. She's, she even went as far arg. as saying arg. arg. I'd be like, you know what, Kelly? If we make eye patches, I'm going to send you one for free. <laughs> and you can, you can, you can, you can be the eye patch poster child. Arg. Arg. We, Grim Life Condoms, we got you covered. Skinny Puppy is really great. I love Skinny Puppy. I got to meet a lot of those guys, and behind the scenes, they were just the sweetest people. I only came here for the daddy jokes. I saw someone was saying um, it, it passed weird. by really fast that someone was looking for our PO box address. If you go to any recent video, even this one, and click that little drop down menu, the um, all the information for our Patreon, for our PO box, and all that, all of our information, our website, um, it, it's all there. So the website is just grimlifecollective.com. A lot of items will say coming soon. That means they're out of stock, but we're about to update it here shortly. Um, any any video that you find or under our um, Instagram profiles or our Twitter profiles, you'll find all the information that you need. So some, Brian Ragland channel attached. says, I make handmade custom guitars. How wow. about a Grim Life custom guitar? First and foremost, cool, man. I have no idea what goes into making custom guitars. I wish, Kevin. I'm guessing I you're 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 talking about taking a, a guitar that's already there and then custom art all around it to look in a certain way. Um, whatever it is, that's cool, and um, I, I think that's really neat. Or uh, mannequins, mankinis, mankinis, mankinis. <laughs> Um, I actually play guitar. I don't own a guitar anymore, or else I'd say, hey, here's a guitar. Let me see what you can do. I don't even know what your art looks like, but that's that's much respect. 
I have not seen that before. You see all kinds of other things, like That's people cool, creating yeah. stuff. But anywho. Yeah, to build a custom guitar from ground up, that I, I, I can't even imagine. What can I tell you, Hellfire Kitchen? I got health issues, man. <laughs> Oh, so they do make it from scratch, from just slabs wow, of wood. Wow. That's crazy. That completely threw me for a loop. I did not expect that. We see all kinds of things flying by, but that stuck out. So much respect, my friend. Much respect. Hello from Belgium. Hi, Belgium. What locations in Washington State would Grim Life visit? Um... I don't know. Uh, you know what? Honestly, my brain gets a little bit melty with all the information that's been stored in there. And I kind of like go haywire and shut down. And I, I honestly have to sometimes like just look up a location to refresh my memory about what's there. Because he has a memory like a computer. And I mine don't run like that. All right. There are two people in this room right now who are big Twin Peaks fans. Raise your hands. Just saying. What? Matt, any chance of doing a vlog about the Johnston gang out of PA? The 1986 film at close range was based on the events. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've never heard of them. Huh. And to be honest, I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Um, but chances are, if there are other things nearby that... I'll look into it. I'll say I'll look into it. But never heard of it. But thank you for bringing that to my attention. I had no clue. Life. Log lady. It's good. Spencer Dunnings. Hi, guys. Long time no see. Missed the last few up all nights, but I'm back. Hope you are well. Are you well? <laughs> she had a thing. She's like, damn you, husband. Are you well? Right this minute? I'm cool. She's cool. I'm We're cool. cool. Thank you for asking. I'm I've cool. I've been. Um... I got it. I'll drink the OJ. I bought the damn thing. I got that. Hold on, wait. No, I just. Um, I've it's still tasty. I've been having sucks. really bad cramps last couple of days. So like, I just had like a really big sugar crash after I ate those couple pieces of candy, and my my system was like, "You've had enough, ma'am." I'm like, "Yes, I have. You're right." And it, it, I get a little dizzy and things like that, but I'm okay. You have to go to Tucson for the All Souls procession. What? It's just unreal, amazing, that beautiful. It's like the really Adelos cool. Muertos on acid. Cool. Any plans? Never heard of it. That's not far at all, though. No, well, Tucson's a little far, but it's not that bad. Um, any plans? No. We don't have any plans for that because we've never heard of it until now. Nice. We have been talking about going to Tucson, but I can guarantee you it's not going to be when that is happening. Um, but thank you for bringing it to our attention because all That's these so things happen. We were happen. just talking about the killing fields in Texas today. Yes. I really shouldn't be eating sugar. It's bad for me, but at the same time, I'm hypoglycemic. So like I need the sugar, but also the sugar makes me feel sick. Like it's a whole balancing thing. Anna Marie says, what spot? have you guys have visited that impacted you and sticks with you? Now, this is a great question because every time we turn the video on, every time we go to a place, we grow a little bit. Yeah. And our eyes open a little bit more to the world, which means each place we visit kind of sticks with us. So I, when I hear a question like that, I kind of take it to mean like has something impacted us negatively or we're just kind of like a, so, wow, I can't believe I got to go there. What I was going to say, mm -hmm. there is one place in particular that sticks out to me more than anything. Um, and that is our very next video that's going to be coming out in two days. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. But to me, it was very, very personal on like a very childlike level like I I, I I went back in time and you'll see you'll see I'm I, I only hope Hello, I hope that that video that that's going to be coming out our next video 
Probably. comes across yeah. on screen it was beautiful. the way that it yeah. did to both Jessica and I in person. It was it was gorgeous. It was very stunning to go there. Um, hazardous as if we've gone to the Westminster Hall to visit Edgar Allan Poe's grave, and we have. Yes. Um, so that video would be years ago. About two years? Would you say it was about two years ago? Uh, probably about two years ago. Were you getting choked up during the Dahmer bid? Who me? No. No. Thank you, Jake. We try really hard to be as honest as possible without giving too much about like ourselves Hello, away. We try to approach every video from, is it, is it called subjective point of view? Um, is, is that the correct term? Where, where we, we try to cover something, but not give our opinions. We don't want our opinions to shape it. We want the place to speak for itself. I don't know if it's called subjective point of view or not. Objective. Objective. Uh -oh, okay. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I'm not sure what to Thank call you. it, but. Objective point of yeah, view. Yeah, we're staying in Southern California. It's where we've called home. Good we're, night, we're Adam. We're planting our roots here, and we're going to let them grow nice and deep. We don't have any plans of leaving L.A. ever. Ever. Thank you, Bo Eric Hammond. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people on their YouTube channels, they... They're, they're, they're so quick to give their opinion on everything. You know what I mean? And like they over, no offense. I don't want you guys to know what I'm thinking about a subject. I don't. And it, it, it's not because I'm like, oh, I don't want them to know, but I, I don't like conflict. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to get into a debate of things. I don't want to sit there and debate on, on who did this or who did not do that. Instead, I just want to know what happened and i want to tell you guys what happened. as far as as close to the facts as we can possibly yeah. get and you'll hear us say a lot if we're not certain about something or if something is speculation we'll say that because even when we put all the facts out there that are known um we still get the comments full of people going well you missed this and it's like well that has no connection to what we're talking about that's a mm -hmm. kind of a, that's a separate topic altogether and we're just talking about this one right here you know focused around this so you know we just we try to do it to the best of our ability and and, and the facts there is a richard ramirez no video coming the night stalker here in la there is one coming oh. And folks would, and regardless, folks would debate us all day long, which oh, is yeah. fine. Everybody's entitled to, to their own opinion. And I respect every single one of you for that. I respect you all. And um, the sad thing is, not a lot of people show the same respect. And I, I just... Oh, pardon me. Do you remember going to school and you read the history books? And then, like, the history books, you would read it, oh, but you, it never Kevin. really would sink in. Like Kevin says, you give equal time for the victims. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I want you, the viewer, to form your own opinion. Just like if you watch a video, you're going to decide whether or not you want to go to these places and visit them with yourself or with your family. You get to decide that. And you, last thing you, you need is for me to stand on a soapbox or Jessica to stand on yeah. a soapbox and say, this is what we think, you know, screw the facts. This is what we think. Got it run, but wife and I love your channel. Thanks for letting us travel and explore vicariously through you. And thanks for being mindful and respectful. Thank you so much. Best Thank Air. you. Bus Hope Air. you have a good night. Loving kisses to you and your wife. Have a good night, honey. So like the thing is, is like you're saying is we don't want our opinion or our emotions to cloud the subject of a video. A lot of people can't go and visit the places that we're doing subject matter on. And we want you to be able to feel as if you've gone to visit it yourself for the experience and for either paying tribute to the victims, you know, because a lot of these places that we visit, they need to be carried in respect because that's, that's someone's grave or someone's home or someone's parent or someone's child, you know, um, and we want to leave the sensationalism out of it. You know, it's obviously already tragic. We're talking about the serial murders here. But it's tragic that these things happen in the first place. Um, so you don't need to add to that. The weight is already there by just talking about the subject, you know. 
And so the best thing that we can do is just present it to you. And, you know, the way that you guys have come to admire us for, which is just by being honest and respectful, you know, which is like the, the most basic human consideration for another human being. I just realized the way that doing? the way that Ghostface is holding the knife is are not. Are you trying to? Are it's you not to correct. Hold the, oh, it's it's bizarre. It's like there's then, there's no way that he can hold that the way that he does in that photo. I think he's holding it like this, like in front of his face, like he's looking at her reflection. I don't know. Right. Now you're That's as close to it. Thank you, season of the witch. He'd have to Thank hold you. it. There you go. It's like this. This is how we would be holding well, it. Well, yeah. He he they make it look like he's looking at it, but I don't know if maybe your hands are too big. Whoa. Okay, this is my favorite thing to do. Check this out. Because you guys have seen how, how ridiculously long my nails are, right? Look at that. Okay. So this is our hands. <clears throat> and his hands are still longer than mine. Look at that. I still don't even touch the very tip of his finger. And that is our, if anything, my hand's up too high. No, they're about right. Ew. <laughs> don't wear that shirt to bingo. Oh, it felt good to scratch it. No. Come on. Yee -hoo 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 -hoo. Hey, 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 hey. If we ever visited... Germany, would we do we doing would we do an Auschwitz video? That's hard to say because <laughs> honestly, I don't know where that location is off the top of my head. And if we were to go to Germany, we'd probably be visiting one of the major cities, I would imagine, you know, because we had to fly in and all that stuff. Um ah. if it's something that we could go to with the utmost respect, um, again, because that's something that a lot of people want to sensationalize and they, some people still want to even debate the fact that it even happened, which is crazy. We're not talking about the loop, the moon landing here. Cat mom. Cat mom. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you. Hello, Poland. But, you know. Germany has strict filming laws. Well, I will say this. Oh, Auschwitz is in Poland. Auschwitz is in Poland. If I've always wanted to go to, to, to go and just see this place as much as I love history. The history part of me. Right. Believe it or not, we, <clears throat> we want to go there to pay our respects. Um, I would turn the cameras on. I probably wouldn't say anything. I'd probably blow my eyes out. I'm just being honest. I, I would probably just point the camera. And it's one of those places we, we really try on our channel to allow the location to speak for itself. The mm -hmm. less that we talk, the less you hear us, the better. Because... We we're pointing the camera at something. We want that to speak, and I I think that words would just not do that place justice. It, 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 we actually it, do have one location video with Sean Clark. I wasn't there. They went and had a a, a man day, like a spa day, but it was bros. Yeah, we were, we went and played Tron, and then we went. To a place called Portillo's on eight. I'm not sure they can understand you, so I'll translate for you. They did a video together on the Tron filming location Tron. because Tron is Sean Clark's favorite video. Tron. And then we went to, to lunch and then had um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. And then we went to his house and played with toys and, and, <laughs> and, and looked at horror yeah. memorabilia. It was fun. Yeah. Jack, Granny. Granny's Garage. Hey guys, do you plan on coming to New York anytime soon? Yes, uh, we have friends and family in New York. I yes. need to go to the cloisters to see the the uh, uniform tapestries. Mike, you deserve to be a pro filmmaker. Well, thank you, Jake. Thank you. So in the minute an hour, they do have a Portello's here in California as well. Um, but whenever we were in Chicago, we were in Elmhurst, and we stopped at the Portillo's in Elmhurst. What? Someone asked if your headlights are on, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. What that I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. We have not met Kirk. It'd be cool. 
would love to meet him. I would actually love to do a remember remember the video we did with Tom Savini. I'd love to do that with Kirk Hammett from uh, uh, Metallica. I would love to to show his collection. Love to show his collection. I definitely don't think I've seen this movie before. Oh, so he's finding out what happened to her. Yeah. He finds the body in, in the, the basement. Uh, Michael. Hey, Michael. Michael. What? And Jessica, what, what is your favorite what? late night snack? Mine is raisinets or oatmeal raisin cookies late or animal snack? crackers. She dead. What's my favorite late night snack? <laughs> I never stick to anything. Whatever is in the house, man. Yeah. Hello, Netherlands. Anna Marie, will you guys ever come visit Sacramento, California? Of course we will. We will. We haven't yet, and I'm sorry about that, but we will. I think it would make a great video if you guys came to visit the Dorothea Puente house. Dude, I, I, I thought said this right. had Dorothea Putnam. And I was like, whoa, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Awesome. I will say this. That's not what it was. There's a reason I want to visit Sacramento more than anything else. Because a lot of episodes of Good Cops morning, takes England. place in Sacramento. Good morning, Ireland. Hello, Australia. Good morning, Germany. And Netherlands. She so was a serial you. killer. Oh, so easy. So early for you guys. Thank you so much for, for joining us so early in the day. We love you guys so much. Every time we're driving in what LA. What is your go-to snack in the theater? Again, raisinets. Raisinets. 100% yeah. raisinets. Um, Boo. Raisinets. Wow. Well, I mean, it's honestly um, red vines if they have them. Tramp stamps. I still like to get a traditional popcorn. One you know. hour, 24, 23 minutes and 30 seconds. One twenty-three thirty. Daniel, one of those days, yes, we will. We got to pass by it. Dan yeah, it's coming. Yeah, we it got to coming. see it, but we weren't <clears throat> able to film that day. Good morning, Israel. <clears throat> Good morning. Hello, Florida. Spencer says, oh, forgot to mention this. I wore my orange Grim Life t-shirt today when I saw The Secrets of Dumbledore. Oh, <clears throat> oh speaking of t-shirts, I'm going to mention this. Oh, okay. <clears throat> if you follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. you may have noticed. Good night, Kelly. Um. I can't talk about it yet. It's got to be a secret. Damn it. Okay. I'm sorry. I got excited okay. and I was like, I can't talk about it. <clears throat> What's the romance? What is the most romantic thing we've done for each other? I used to sing him to sleep she all did. the time when we first met. Yes. I think that's pretty romantic. And to this day, so Michael has, I don't know if this is the most romantic thing, but it's a small thing that I can think of, you know? Um, oh. Bus Era says, one last request. When comparing old pics of locations, please flip-flop more between the photo and the current view. I hate pausing and rewinding. Ah. Have fun with so that I, one. Showing it a couple of times, you mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, when Michael froze, I thought my video froze until I saw Jessica blinking. <laughs> I'll try to do something. I'll try to do something. But oh, that boy, whole oh, flip-flop thing, that drives me nuts. And I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do that. I tried it. I've messed around with it. That's why what that's why what I do is I what I'll do now is I'll show the way that it is. I will slowly fade in. Let it sit and then slowly fade out. Um, that drives me the least amount of insane. But I, I'll try to that is a big I'll try we some do things. Not. What's that? Do we ever get freaky at any of the places we visit? No, because no, we that, that's extremely disrespectful. We'll yeah. never do something like that. Michael Frieza. Very well. Uh, I'm a mime. <sighs> oh, I see. The back wall looks like cars' headlights are shining in. Oh. No, that's just our ring light. 
Bam. Yeah, bye. Good day, Australia! Electrified says, question, is it draining emotionally to visit these places where so much death happened? I know is your passion, but um, does it affect you emotionally in any way? Um, I would say no. I feel like because, because of how we tackle each... Hola, Michael. Because of how we tackle each subject, how we, have we, we tackle it objectively. We don't pour ourselves in it, at least on camera, it doesn't really affect us. Sometimes... I find that it's draining. Sometimes it, it, it can. Sometimes it has. Like when the Warren's graves. Well, I mean... We... Draining's not always a bad thing. Not necessarily. Like, it was just so many things were happening that had gone wrong over the course of a couple of days. I was very stressed out. And, you know... The timing of the question just like <clears throat> I, I just I let go and I all my anxiety and my stress came out, you know. Teresa Foss says, Have you all rode Tower of Terrors? <laughs> my granddaughter wants me to ride next week and I'm terrified. Yes, we love <clears throat> it. We love it. Be terrified. It's fun. It's it's scary as hell. I'm just kidding. It's fun. Do you know what the it's White fun. Marsh Mansion is in Pennsylvania? You enjoy yourself. No, I don't. No. Um, but I do want to go back to a question. Okay. I do want to go back to a question. Um, you. Somebody asked the question, what is the most romantic thing that we've done for each other? Oh. And um, so instead, I want to change it a little bit, if that's okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I feel that I did for her is might is, as romantic might not be what she considers romantic. So I think it'd be kind of cool to uh, answer it and like, wh what did I do? What What is your opinion of something? What is something you think you did romantically? No. Wh what is something you did for me that I felt was romantic? Oh, and something okay. I did for you yeah. that you felt All was right. romantic. Go. All right. Yeah. Um. Mine will go always go back to the very beginning. Always to the very beginning. And I think about it constantly. I don't even know if I tell you that. But I think about it all the time. The very first few days that we met, um, we went to the Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World. And it was my <laughs> first time there, and Jessica has been wanting to go. Yeah. Jessica has been going all the time, and I've always wanted. I was a to regular go. by that point. And yeah, I was a regular. If you've ever been, you know, there's the main street. It goes through the front, comes around to the flagpole, and then there's a main street that goes straight to the castle. Yeah. And yeah. we walked in, and um, she asked me if I wanted to get a picture. Does you want to get a picture? And I was like, no, 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 no. Let's keep going forward. So we kept inching foot by foot, I should say, up close to the castle. I knew that he wanted a picture close to the castle, but he'd look around and go, no, let's get a little closer. And I kept trying to explain that you can get them all the way. There's a whole bunch of photographers leading up to the castle until you're like right there, but don't get too close because if you want to see it, you know. So we get close, really, really close to the castle. Uh -huh. And and I look and I'm like, man, that's that's perfect. And it was just the right. And she did not know that I was going to ask her to marry me. And like a fool, I probably look like an idiot running from you up to the to the camera person. I mean, like, rah, 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 like, like telling them stuff. But then. He he was taking a while to get into the picture, and you know how there's a long line behind you of people waiting. They could wait to take their pictures too. They can wait. And then he ran up to the photographer to ask a question, and I was trying to say, "No, honey, it's I." I didn't really. I I thought he had a question, and I was trying to explain to him how it worked. So then, I asked her to marry me in front of the Walt Disney Castle, uh, and everybody stopped. And everybody clapped, and everybody, like, ooh, ah, ah, ah. To me, that's that's that's, that's always going to be like the epitome of romantic for me. I'm going to cry, but yeah, that's like like the yeah. We well, don't show the picture. I see. You I, I show the picture. picture. So, because Jessica always shows the picture. I do. But I don't know if you can see this. it. So it's a little hard to see. It's on our Instagram. Yeah, let me back up a, a little bit. There's the photo. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 
So there's the actual photo. Out this of the was, blonde at the time. This was two days after we met for the first time ever. I so asked we've her to been marry friends me. online for like five years. We talked all the time. Um, she even had, do you still have, you have it on your phone too, right? What? The, the picture? My picture is different. I don't have that one. You, oh. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like the same time though. Yeah. Well, okay. If you get the show picture, I get the show picture. Uh oh. What? No, it's from the same stuff, but like, um, so mine is slightly different. It was the moment right before or right as he was asking, whereas like yours, you already asked the question. And then my next favorite <clears throat> one is actually this one because we went, let's see if I can do it like you did it. We went and um, tilted. Tilted this way? You do it. Okay. Um, yours came into focus. Mine won't come into focus. Maybe because it's too much. No, it's not the screen. I don't know. Yeah, but we uh, we were there all day, and it was Christmas Eve. So then we went and your bought the bride ears and the groom ears. Oh, I know. And so this was that nighttime mm. with the castle all lit up with the icicles, and we got pictures of us and our bride and groom hats at mm -hmm. Disney, and that's that's my second. And then, of course, we had to go by um, Haunted Mansion and show my ring off. You can't see it in there, but this, Shadow is, this is the ring. This is still the ring that he proposed to me with five years later. I am high on watching Haunting of Hill House. I am on season one. It is really good. And have you guys been to 17 Doors Haunted House in summer in Los Angeles? I live in Canada. No, we have not been there. We haven't um, been to Canada. Or we've been to the 17 Doors Haunted House. Yeah. We'll say this. We did do a video on the Haunting of Hill House locations, though. We technically met through Instagram. So do a search like for 10 that. 10 years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> Windless Path. I, it's too much. I don't know what Cheeseman Park is in oh, Denver, you. Colorado. No. I've never heard of it either. Thank you, Windless mm. Path. Thank you. Thank you. We are, we love all things horror. We love all things spooky. We love Slippity all things grim. DMs. Actually, no. Mm. I'm the one that, um, I but we love came Disney across too. his, his page on Instagram and he used to post about his favorite horror movies all the time. And then he would make these really cool pictures, though, and like he would in have like little moving, you know, memes and stuff. This was way back before you could do a bunch of stuff on Instagram. You couldn't do now, but you could, you know, back then. And I was like, "Oh my god, that's so cool! How did you make this picture?" And um, the, play post. But the, I, I remember the very first thing I actually commented on, though, was that he was playing a Elvira pinball machine, and I grew up in an arcade and that was my favorite one that I always played and I was like oh my god I can't believe you play that I love you know <laughs> that's exactly how she said it oh my god oh my so god cool. that's yeah. so cool pinball yeah and uh we we have we ever since the first contact we've we've been really good friends and yeah we started talking a lot more once I joined Twitter he was already on Twitter and you could actually like kind of chat at each other easier that my way. Twitter is bunk. And uh but I was again, <clears throat> I was the first one to reach out through contact. Yes, Natasha, we are back in LA. Um he had made a post asking people to give him suggestions for vampire movies he might not be familiar with. And I gave <clears throat> him one, which was the Vampire Journals. It's one of my favorite um by Full Moon Productions. And then I sent him a direct message because I was like, that one's kind of really hard to find. It's a little, it's a kind of elusive one. Not a lot of people know it. So I sent him a direct message basically saying, hey, I gave you the suggestion, but it's kind of like not a really well-known movie. 
and it's kind of hard to find, but I have a link where you can actually watch it for free. And I gave him the link to the movie and that's what struck up our one-on-one -on -one conversations. Over a vampire movie. So you could say. <laughs> that we, we got to where we are today because I was sliding in your DMs. Oh, God. Swiggity swooty, I come for the booty. <laughs> but I didn't have, like, any intentions. It just, you know, making friends <clears throat> and, you know... I can always use a good friend because I've always had, you know, a lot of mental health issues and depression and things like that. And meeting someone who is actually cool that I could get along with and have good conversations with, you know, I was always open to that opportunity with people and it just evolved into what it evolved into. Yeah. Yeah. Sure did. We went online. Yep. Instagram and Elira pinball machines. That's and, what it comes and down vampire to. Vampire movies, which is like, how is that like the epitome of our life? Because it still rings true to this right? day. Right, right. Yeah. Big nerds, real big nerds. With that being said, guys, mm -hmm. thank you for joining us for another episode of Grim. Uh -huh. And now you have all of us kids as a result. We're the children of the collective. Oh, I love that. The Grim Up All Night. We love you guys. <laughs> Till next week. Well, if you're a Patreon member, look for the uh, post about it tomorrow, Tuesday night around eight o'clock. I think it'll be eight o'clock. Will be our Patreon only hangout, which is going to be a lot smaller than this. It's not going to be any yeah. movie. It's just going to be us just sitting around talking. Um, if you are a Patreon member, or if you want to become, all that information is in the description below. Uh, no, good morning, Scotland. Sorry, we have to go. Till next time. Happy Halloween. We love you. Happy Halloween. And sweet dreams. Or if you're getting your day started, sweet days. Bye. Sweet days. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's very weird. <laughs>